get ready with me video using some newish products. A lot of these are things I recommended in my Sephora sale video. So I have things like Ecosis Duo, the Lawless Palette, Ilia Foundation and Mascara, and a new Hourglass lip gloss. So I hope this video is going to be helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and start by telling you what I have on my face so far. It's been a while since I did my skincare this morning, so I started off by spritzing my face with the One Love Organics Vitamin D Moisture Mist. This is a longtime favorite and I recently repurchased it and I love it. And then something new, this was a recommendation from my friend Diana. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I've heard about a lot and I know a lot of people, including you guys, really like it. I think the vanilla scent is a newer release. I love any kind of vanilla scented lip product and when Diana gave this a glowing review, I decided to buy it myself. It makes my lips, I think, look really pretty and glossy, yet it still lasts for a really long time and the scent is very good. So this is only the second time I've applied it, so it's still early days, but so far so good. And then the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. This has been such a favorite so far this year. I've been using it for a few months. I think when I recommended it, I said it was light, slightly medium, and I feel like pulling that back because I had one of the worst breakouts in recent memory last week. And I know it was a combination of hormones, and then I was at my grandma's house and my skin and hair always feels a little bit different at her house. It just must be a difference in the water. So such a bad breakout and a lot of dryness. So I feel like if you have a lot to cover, this is going to be a true light foundation, but it's perfect for me because I don't mind to use concealer. I like to use a small bit of concealer, but for foundation, I don't want a huge mask. I just want something to help neutralize the redness. This has such a pretty finish on the skin. I like, looks very skin like. So I like to only set it in my T-zones and then just like let my cheeks be. So this has been a huge favorite. Since I had more to cover today, I pulled out my NARS Potted Concealer. I have this in shade Vanilla. This is the highest coverage, longest lasting on top of blemishes concealer that I have. So I like to apply it with a small detailer brush and then I'll go in with a clean buffing brush with the lightest touch I possibly can because I want to keep the coverage on the blemish, but I wanna blend out the edges so it kind of fades into the foundation. So this is the best that I have found so far. It works really well. For some extra security, I set the concealer with this Charlotte Tilbury powder. It has the world's longest name. Airbrush, flawless finish, skin perfecting micro powder, and I have it in shade One Fair. I actually did just buy a new bronzing product, but I didn't use it today because it's cream, and I decided I wanted to use all powdered products, but I'm trying to put together a really easy, pretty vacation nighttime look. So I bought the Nude Sticks, one of their matte sticks. I think the shade is Sun Kissed. So if that works out and I put together a good look, maybe I'll do a video on that. But today, I kept it old school and I used the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and I have this in light bronzer. Still my favorite go-to. The only one that's kind of like up there with this, I do really like that Bare Minerals, the baked one. And I forget the name of it, but I will put it in the description box. But really that one and the Physicians Formula. I always, I try new bronzers, but I always go back to those. I primed my eyelids with the NARS eyeshadow base and then I went right into brows. And if you are a redheaded viewer, this is still my all-time favorite product I have ever used in my brows. It's from the brand Plume. It's their brow pomade in the shade Autumn Sunset. And I love to use this on the angle slash spoolie brush that comes with the product. It applies beautifully, it is such a great color, and I love to see other redheads using it because I think it works for a variety of different hair colors. So I apply that through, and some days that's all I'll do, but if I want a little bit more of a defined look and to build up where I've lost some hair at the tail end of my brows, I've been liking this brow pencil from Benefit, the Precisely My Brow, and I have it in shade number two. And I try to hold the pencil as far back as I possibly can so I'm getting a really light touch onto my skin, and I feel like that helps it look a a little bit more natural without, because I have a tendency to get that kind of harsh line. So if I'm holding it far back, I can get a little bit more of a feathery touch. I set all of that with the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel and I had been getting these tiny, teeny tiny, super painful pimples in my brows and I got sick of it. So I decided to stop using everything. So I didn't use any brow product for a while and then I slowly started to add things one by one to see if I could decide what the culprit was. And unfortunately, I think it was the Glossier Boy Brow, which I really love. I loved the look of that, but since I've stopped using that product, I've hardly had any issues. So I don't like the milk maybe as much, but it's still working really well. And I only have the clear one. I haven't tried the tinted one yet, so it can't do like a true comparison. I'm very happy not to be getting those little annoying pimples anymore. The last thing for my face is blush and highlighter. Today I'm gonna to use this one from Kosas. It's one of their powdered press versions. They have cream and powder. This one is in the shade Contra Chroma and I'm gonna start out with the highlighter. I'm gonna apply it with the Sephora Pro Highlight Brush number 98. 
And then I picked up the blush side with a Real Techniques blush brush. I love this duo. I think it's beautiful and perfect, especially as we're coming into or currently in. It's supposed to be like 80 some degrees today. So I think it's a really good summer blush and highlighter pairing. So the Lawless The One eyeshadow palette. I think this is so pretty and I've been really enjoying playing with it. So I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer and show you a look I've been wearing with some of my favorite shades. I'm starting off with the lightest color in the palette called First Base and I'm gonna apply this all over from lash line all the way up until under my brow. To bring a little bit of warmth to the crease, I have the shade Everything, which is a light orange color, and I'm using a very light touch to apply it. My absolute favorite shade in this palette came as a little bit of a surprise to me. It's the color Complicated, which doesn't look like much, but I love this so much applied to the outer third of my lid and then slowly buffed up into my lower crease. My favorite brush for doing this is the Sigma E25. I just think it's the perfect size and it makes it so easy to lay down the color. I just pick up the product mostly on one side of the brush, so perfect for patting in, and then it's the perfect shape to just slowly bring it into the crease just a little bit. I know it's looking a little bit messy, but I promise to blend more before I'm done. I am going to skip using traditional liner today. Instead, I'm gonna take two of the darkest colors in the palette, Plunge and DTR, on a tiny little smudge brush, and first start by wiggling that brush right at the base of my lashes to make my lash line look thicker. And then at the outer corner, I'm gonna drag it up just a little bit and have it start to mix with the complicated shade I already have laid down. Then I just blend until I get tired of blending, and if I get a little crazy and things get messy, I can always go and clean up the edge with a little bit of concealer on that tiny brush. To brighten up my lid, I'm gonna use the shade Casual. I'm gonna apply it with my finger. I was watching a video from the owner, I believe her name is Annie Lawless. She has her own YouTube channel and she was applying a couple of the colors, of more of the more metallic shades, one of my favorite being Obsessed, which is the bronze color, and she applied it with her finger and she said that's how it goes on best. So I tried it myself and I really like that. So Casual is one of the lightest that has a little bit of shimmer and sheen to it. So it's really pretty and it kind of makes me look a little bit more awake even when I'm not feeling it. My camera cut out and I have no idea where it left off and that's such a bummer, but I'm just gonna talk about these last few products again and hope for the best. And if this is weird and there's like a weird jump, I will put everything in the description box down below. But out of all the products I showed you today, the biggest surprise to me was the Ilia Mascara. This, I'm pretty particular with mascaras and I've yet to find something I like as much as the Benefit Roller Lash, so I bought this with little to no expectations. But I love it. I think the formula is awesome. It really, I think it is the most impactful all natural mascara that I've ever tried. I like the brush. Most of the bristles are really short, except there's one row of long bristles that make it really easy to comb through my lashes. So I've been waiting to talk about this because I wanted to make sure, but at this point, I think I am definitely going to repurchase it when it runs out. Since I'm still healing from that breakout, I skipped out normally when I wear this look. I use the Bite Glacé, the matte cream lip pencil, but since it's so dry down here, I didn't want to add Add another matte product. So instead, I went to the other end of the spectrum and used a gloss. This is brand new from Hourglass. It's their Unreal Formula, and the shade I have is Provoke. These, it's been a really long time since I own one, but remember the Buxom lip glosses that used to be so popular? I think if you liked those, you might like this. It is super minty. I do really like the paddle, the applicator, and this Provoke is probably, this is about as nude as I can go, and it might look better with a lip pencil, but honestly, I'm going to lunch, so I'm not gonna bother with it. But I think that is everything that I have for you. And if you have any questions, I know I went over a lot, please leave them down below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you again very soon.